Hi, Frank again. And uh, for a lot of the uh, schools out there that have TriCaster 40s, I want to show you how to do a record, uh, if you're going to record your show, and how to retrieve it. So let's take a look. OK, now the first thing you need to do is when you do your recording is you have to set up the file name and the type of, of file that you want to record. So over here on the gear where it says record, you're going to click on the gear. And this window pops up, record configuration. Now, here's the base name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a base name. And the base name here says TriCaster Tips. I'm just going to add TriCaster Tips 40 record. Oh, record. So that will just give me some idea. Now, what will happen is, once you put that name in, if you forget to change it next time, it'll be the same name, but it'll say one, then it'll say two after it, or three after it. So, but I do recommend that you put the name down. Now, if it's a show that you're recording, make sure you put down the, uh, put down new show and the date. Today is the October 22nd. So I'm going to change this, and I'm going to put what it should be. New show. And I'm going to put 10 dash. Don't use a backspace or a forward slash. It's going to be use the dash. So it's going to be 10, 22, 20. Now, you'll thank me later when you're looking for this file. Because if you're going to do a week's worth of new shows, and then you go back and say, oh, where, where was that show that I just did? And if it, all it said was new show, one, two, three, it's going to be hard to find. So. Please put the date down. It'll save you a lot of time for searching later. Now, also in this window, you'll see there's a couple options here. It says add to DDR playlist. So if you're going to record your show before you send it out to the, to the school, uh, then I would recommend you click that because that what will happen is when you're finished recording it, it'll drop it right down into your DDR window down here, which will be easier to find. So uh, I'm going to put add to DDR playlist and just audio, just leave it the way it is at plus 20. That's what it's normally uh, defaults to. But down here, I want you to look at this. It said source. What are you going to record? Well, there's a little drop down here. And uh, there's different things you can record. But obviously, we want to record the program because that's going to be your main program out. So we want to keep that a program. Now, the encoding, it says encoding. This particular uh, series of the TriCaster 40, depending on what uh, you know, what edition you have, software edition, it may say di different things. This one says QuickTime 422. That's a real high quality uh, file type, and it's going to be large. So um, only if you're going to like use it to re to edit later and make some video that maybe you want to uh, uh, put on YouTube or something. You can record it at the higher quality, but it's going to be a bigger file. The next file is a 420, which is still high quality, but uh, the file t is a little bit less uh, uh, than the 422. But here's the thing. If you're going to put this on YouTube or you're going to stream it out through, through the uh, uh, TriCaster or and then through the VBrick at the school, I recommend you use the H.264, what's called web quality even if you're going to upload it to um, YouTube, because it's still a high quality, but it's a lower file type. Um, and, the, and the quality is still good. So I recommend you do that one. Now over here it says destination. Now it says media, D, and it tells me how many uh, gigabytes I have left on my hard drive. If you have an external drive plugged in that you want to record onto, you click on the drop down, it'll show up here. But I don't have one on, on, this, on this machine, so it's going to go right to the D drive. OK, so that's set up now. So now this is before you're going to do your show. You have that set up ahead of time, so everybody knows when it's time to hit the record, you have all your settings prop properly uh, set. OK, so we're going to do a show now. Ready? So OK, we're ready to go. And uh, we're going to open up. Uh, let's say I'm just going to open up on this graphic, and then I'm going to go to me. Let's say that's your school logo or something like that. Okay, so you're going to go back up the record. And now before the kids get started or anything like that, make sure you hit record first. You hit record. You see the numbers moving here. That means it is recording. 
Now you cue the students in the, in the, in the uh, studio. Okay, stand by and action. And boom, make your switch. Hi, welcome to our show. And today is October 22nd. And uh, we're going to do uh, Please Stand for the Pledge. So I'm going to put that pledge up here. Please stand for the pledge. I'm going to switch to the pledge. There you go. And the kids are saying the pledge. And they're finished. Okay. And today's announcements are, and uh, thanks for watching our show. I'm going to go back out again. And I'm going to end it. So I'm finished. Now I'm going to go up to record. I'm going to hit record button again. And what happens is it stops recording. But you also notice it did exactly what we asked it to do which was drop it into the DDR bin down here. So here's our show. And it says, new show, 10, 22, 20. And it says that it's, you know, the time. This one obviously was short. We did it for like 45 seconds. Okay, so it dropped it in the bin. You'll see it down here. And I make sure it's selected because it has to be selected. Now that you're ready to play it out to the school and you have it set on your DDR and you're ready to go and you're gonna hit play. And now the show is going to play. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, there it is. OK. <laughs> so there's our show again. So we're going to hit stop. And uh, that's where it wound up. I'm going to show you another video of how to transfer that file to a uh, external drive or a thumb drive so you can export it and put it out on YouTube if you need to do that. So that's how you record. Uh, it's not real difficult. Just make sure you, you make sure you put the file name on it, and you do that ahead of time. You select the file type, and again, I do recommend the H.264. And then uh, when you're ready to go, you just hit record, and when you're finished, you hit stop. Okay. Thanks for tuning in. Mm -hmm.